The city of St. Paul is looking into raising the minimum wage to $15 an hour. The city council is also trying to figure out a pay structure for people who make tips. There are two options for them, either pay people $15 an hour on top of their tips or implement a tip credit. A tip credit means employers would pay workers less than minimum wage because their tips would count as part of their wage. As WCCO's Katie Steiner shows us, people are passionate on both sides of the issue. Restaurant workers from St. Paul in Minneapolis marched down Kellogg Boulevard. All to get the attention of city council. Yeah, we are here today to say we are the industry, we are the workers, and we want and need a tip credit. Without it, many here are worried that local restaurants would have to make drastic changes if they have to pay $15 an hour for people who make tips. What I'm hearing from most owners is that at some point around $12 an hour, the business model breaks down and tipping is no longer viable. So most business owners I've talked to are considering doing service charges. Jennifer says that means owners might up the prices and tell their customers they don't need to tip. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. But not Everyone agrees that's going to happen. There were a handful of people at the rally who were against a tip credit. Do you want to take a pay cut from me? Uh, Businesses no, will close. Have you been calling? Yes, you do. You do. No, no. Well, I'm going to take a pay yeah, cut. I don't think that's true. There's no evidence that's true. true. Quite frankly, tipped income is what we count on for our wage. And not everyone working in the service industry likes relying on those tips. Went over. Half of my income is made up in tips, right? So that's um, a pretty stressful place to be in every day, that instability, wondering if people are going to be generous. But for Jennifer, the bartender in Minneapolis, making tips is one of her favorite parts of the job. Putting an hourly wage on somebody like me really stifles my ability to control my own income. Katie Steiner, WCCO 4 News. St. Paul City Council members say they would like to make a decision by the end of the year.